Happy Sunday evening. Welcome back to Kevin's Hole Reads. Today is my weekly wrap-up video for this past week, so I wanted to give you guys an update of what's going on, uh, what transpired this past week, and highlight some of those things. So first, we're going to talk about the books I read. I had on the list to read three books. Uh, I ended up reading three books, and I launched uh, a short story, which launched my Saturday shorts. Um, so we'll talk about that. Uh, first book I want to showcase i read my first foray into elmore leonard was maximum bob i gave this a 3.9 out of out of five um i enjoyed it harry potter and the deathly hallows the book number seven completes the harry potter series for me i gave this a 4.8 i read toxic prey i posted that video a little bit a little bit earlier today it was a 4.3 out of five it was the 34th book in the lucas davenport series another milestone and then I kicked off the inaugural video of my Saturday shorts. We read Trial and Error, the first short story in this collection of 12 short stories by Jeffrey Archer titled 12 Red Herrings. And so it was a very productive week in terms of average score. It was a 4.4. It also capped off two huge long-term goals. One being finishing Harry Potter. The second one being catching up on the Lucas Davenport series. So definitely feels good to check those off the long-term reading goals in terms of videos last week i had eight i say every week you know i'm gonna I'm gonna scale it down scale it down and i end up posting at least a video a day it seems like um i had three book reviews i had my deep dive character study into san dan glockta but he is the inquisitor from first law from joe abercrombie if you haven't checked out that deep dive character study about him you should if you're definitely a fan of abercrombie in the first law world I kicked off my short story series. I thought it was great. I was so amped after that. And definitely, definitely, um, I feel kind of re-energized about that. I, I really like short stories. I really am going to dig that, uh, that weekly video. And so we're going to talk about that in a minute as well. I did two tag videos. One was a Q&A tag. And I tagged some other channels in it. Some people played along, which was great. I got tagged in a video from BookBuds in CG Rated Books. Charles over there tagged me in a video, in which I played along. And then I did a channel update video from The Trails, which I talked a little bit about some uh, some stuff that's uh, been on my mind and uh, some recent acquisitions in books. And that's going to lead to a book uh, haul video for this coming week. In terms of engagement in the channel, it's been great. Uh, I, I'm wishy-washy about doing its own kind of video for the week because um yeah there's a lot to uncover i've got new subscribers i've got a lot of returning subscribers i got a lot of comments a lot of engagement which i think is all great for the community um in, ter in terms of you know giving some shout outs you had cj rated books albert the conjugator faceless book reviews hide and read Outer World Media, Novel Insights, BJ Low 85, Lynn of September, Dustin Neely, Bing Lamb 2176, Steve Ballahan, Patty Page, Garage at the GKBC, Travis Bookshelf, Keese 73, Professor X, Nagel Bagel 10, Little Big Library, Raimondo Cortelli, Barbara Lyons, Tootleske, Cadence Bowles, Read by Fred, Foxing and Fiction, Atheril Lily? Sorry if I mispronounced that. Bobby Moyo, Bookworm Adventure Girl, my mom. <laughs> um, Scott Anderson and Xanadu Castle, Bio Phoenix. So very, very, very busy week in terms of responses, subscribers, comments. It was, it was great. So what am I reading this week? I am reading, and I just started today, uh, The Ruins by Scott Smith. I've never read this book. I've seen the movie, but I've never read the actual book. And it's been a while since I've seen the movie. I kind of, I know what the movie does at the end, so, but I'm interested to see how the book does and holds up. I am going to have my second uh, video in the short story series later this week, so I'm definitely going to have a short story. And because of so much positive, and I was so amped about it, this week I'm going to surprise you again. It's going to be a surprise every week on what short story, what author am I showcasing. This week you get two. I'm going to do two short stories, two author showcases, and so be on the lookout for that Saturday. In terms of my other book I'm going to be reading, I put a poll out on my community on the channel and asked you what you thought. As you can tell, I've got five books left on my TBR pile. I posted in poll for pick my 
book for this week. It's going to stay up until Tuesday morning, and then I'm going to take it down. And whatever you guys gets the most votes is going to be my next read. I didn't post. I didn't put. I only put four of the five books on there. I left the Spear Cuts Through Water off of there because this is a fantasy book, and I'm definitely going to be reading it. So I don't really need you to pick that. Uh, but the other four books are standalone books. Um, and I'm interested in seeing what you want to think. And I kind of want to engage you all to pick that out. In terms of upcoming videos this week, obviously I'm going to have book reviews. I'm going to, again, I'm going to do another video in the short story series. I'm really amped about that. Um, again, it's going to be two and it's going to be a surprise. I am going to do a book haul. I'm interested in giving you guys some feedback on the book haul and showcasing some of the stuff I've got. And again, I've got books in here that you can see, which is not good, but um, my desk is a mess with books right now. Um, and then another anticipated video that this week was the why you should read week. And usually I showcase an author of why you should read this person, give you some, hit, some background, talk about the author, why they're good, where you should start, that kind of thing. Um, I alternate that between my deep dive character study, which I did this week on Sandan and Glockta. But this week, based on the timing of finishing Harry Potter, this week's going to be a why you should read J.K. Rowling Harry Potter slash Harry Potter. And so we're going to have kind of a series wrap up that's going to dovetail into why you should read. And that video is going to be combined into one. So the timing's perfect. And uh, I think I'm looking forward to giving you my thoughts and notes about what I found great about the series, why I think it deserves its place amongst all of these fantasy lists of top 10 fantasies of all series of all time. Um, I was a skeptic until I read the, the series and I got to say, I'm so glad I did. Um, it's definitely one of the ones, if I were to do another video of why did I wait so long to read, this would be probably one of the top three books or authors like why the hell did I wait so long type thing. So anyways, that is my week. I hope you're having a great weekend or at least what's left of your weekend and you hit the ground running tomorrow. Um, I should have a book haul video up for you tomorrow at some point, probably in the evening. So um, I hope you have a great week and uh, I will talk to you later. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks. Bye.